Hello everyone, Sam Hizzle from MyFirstMagicWave.com uh, making this a small video about um, as a weekly recap because the week ended yesterday but I didn't get the time to make this video so now I'm making now um, it's Saturday night 9.50 p.m. so let's get it started week started on the 9th of September so this is 9th September pound Aussie uh, buy trade from here to here. Pound lately getting strong since uh, this uh, the month of September started. Okay, so I was expecting that this week maybe it will uh, weaken a little bit, but it just keep getting the steam, keep getting strong, and all pound pair going up. So uh, this is uh, why all uh, most of the pound uh, trades you're gonna see is to the upside. So next one is on the 9th September. Pound cat, boom, way go to the upside, right? Keep going, keep going. Uh, pound yen, the same thing. This is what happened when uh, one index moving, one individual currency, all the pairs involving that currency move in the same direction. So it's a small trade, but I had uh, the bigger one as well. Later on, you'll see. Everything counts, right? Small, big, whatever. Now here, uh, on the 10th, this is uh, Aussie yen. This is basically based on uh, uh, yen weakness and Aussie strength. Yen weakness, uh, mostly. Cadian is this was on the 9th September entry and then continue into the 10th September. Sometimes you make an entry, but it's not um, the move is not uh, you know like good enough or uh, big enough for the day uh, to cover the daily range. So I just hold on to it until it goes into into the next uh, day or so. Uh, here on the 10th again pound yen pound continue getting strong yen continue getting weaker and we see these pair going. To the upside, uh, upside uh, pound pairs. Now USD yen again. USD uh, not uh, paying more attention to USD, rather paying more attention to yen and the Aussie and pound. So on the tenth, you can see USD yen continuing to the upside. Uh, here on the eleventh, now pound changes direction. Again, right, little bit of uh, retracement. So pound Aussie to the downside on the eleventh. And uh, you're not gonna see many trades on the uh, 11th. And this is on the 12th, Thursday, Euro Aussie. Euro start getting strong, right? <coughs> so this was a beautiful transition. We goes up, uh, we go above uh, this red line. Beautiful uh, long entry, and then all of, all the way to the upside. This is seven minute chart. Euro Aussie, and on the 12th, same Euro Yen. That's because of Euro moving. So uh, and and Euro Aussie and, and uh, not Euro Aussie, I did tell Euro Aussie, but uh, Euro uh, Euro USD, Euro CAD, uh, they all went up that day on the 12th because of Euro strength. And the 13th is the one again, pound making the turn to the upside uh, and start getting strong again. So this is pound yen. I'm showing this a 33 minute chart, the setup, the 33 minute key setup that triggered this trade, but the entry came from the seven minute chart. Uh, somewhere here and then it took off big time okay and then it went up I think it went up bef even higher than that but that was that was it uh, my target was up there which uh, I don't know if it matter or not but you know I closed the trade right there uh, and uh, again pound CAD you can see this is uh, from here it goes up right but I have another from all the way from the bottom I'm gonna show you this is a 20 minute chart this is 130 pip on the 13th and here this is pound USD you can see here um, very nice trade from all the way from here on the 13th and look at this Aussie newsy you know when it it goes like that and it's crisscross the wave here right and then slowly you can see that it's making a lower high and a higher high that means it's going up and then uh, you know, all of a sudden we find that the news is uh, getting weaker and Aussie uh, index is getting strong. So you go in that direction. This is a perfect by the book entry, long entry, and it went up all the way. Very, very nice. And this is Power Newsy. Look at this pair and look at the move. This is on the 12th. The entry was on the 12th, actually at the end of the 12th and the beginning of uh, uh, the 13th. Uh, and then late in the Asian session, New Zealand is the Asian currency, so it started getting weaker, and that helped a lot because pound was getting strong, and New Zealand started getting weaker, and then this pair went bazooka, and that's the reason uh, Aussie 
uh, Nuzi also went up big time. That's the reason. Uh, basically, that's 300 pip from here to there. So it's like uh, 92, uh, 70. So you can see where we have like 95, 80 now, right? 300 pip, more than 300 pip in the straight line. So this is it. These are the trades, and uh, I'm very close to the TP, almost hit, right? No, but I closed the trade anyway. So this is uh, what the reason is. Now let me show you just uh, a little bit of uh, why this uh, pound. Uh, how do I take all these pound uh, pair at long? On, on Friday, right? Thursday and Friday. So if you look at this, um, uh, this is uh, the, the weekly pound index weekly chart, pound as an individual currency. And now in this one, I'm just uh, showing you that these are the, you know, highs and lows, right? Basically it's all the high uh, lows here. And then since you are going up, then uh, these lows matters. And, uh, but in this chart, you cannot understand anything, what these numbers are and what they do, right? But watch out this. If you plot these numbers here on a horizontal line and the numbers, you can see that we bounce exactly from 47, 21 after dropping, dropping, dropping. We went up. This is a 33 minute job, by the way. Anyway, uh, up. this was a long setup. This was a screaming that you could uh, take all those pound pairs to the long side, and I did. And then here you can see this is 9th, September 9th beautiful long entry and then start to go up again so you take long in all pound pairs then here comes again on the uh, september 9 again and then this is the one last uh, thursday and friday game 9 12 beautiful again long entry here and start to go up that means it's not the 30 minute chart i also watched the seven minute chart uh, and then see that you know really we are going to the upside beautifully and then look we start to go up and because of this pound start getting strong and send all pound pair to the upside and you can see that pound newsy and then you know pound uh, USD pound cat pound yen uh, I think pound Aussie got away with from me <laughs> but uh, are these at least these four pairs and these ni nice nice amount of pipage and nice uh, you know big trades right so that's what happens, and that's what I teach in my webinars, how to watch these individual currencies, individual indexes, individual currency index, and take trades uh, at the same time in all the possible pairs in that currency. For example, I just showed you pound, start getting strong, and I have all, you know, four pound pairs going to the upside, right? So this is how, uh, how it is. If you uh, like what you saw, then go on my website. You want to be a part of it. You want to learn. Then today Saturday, you know, subscribe, get your, uh, you know, thing, and then you know, there's a subscription package, and then start, uh, you know, ready your chart, and um, you know, get ready for the mo for Monday. Okay, so this is it uh, for now, and uh, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day or night.